recording and I'm muting myself and go. And go. All right, let me share my screen. Uh, can you guys see that? I think. Yeah. Beginning. Yes. Give me a thumbs up. Can we see it? Yes. All right, good. <laughs> All right, so tonight's call, uh, we're going to take an inside look at how the new leadership conference, conference was. Uh, I just came back last night and did this PowerPoint on the plane um, from California. So it is January 25th, and let's go. Why can't I do that? Here we go. All right, so the Changing Lives Club. This is Success Club. Um, look at this wall right now. Look at how many people that we've helped this month start their fitness journey. 89. Look at all of these. You know, we got Rachel, Joan, Kristen, Kylie, Lindsay, Kelsey, Katie, and myself in the five plus um, lives change. That is SC10 in those terms. Um, and then we got um, the three lives which is SC5, Nicole, Sarah, Bridget, Casey, and Hannah. And look at all those people. They've changed at least one life, and there's still time this month to finish up. Um, I say we could at least hit 110 people's lives changed between all of us. We got till the end of this weekend, I think, right? I think February starts next week, so we got this. Um, some housekeeping after coming back from a big event, get to events. This is what keeps your business going, it keeps the motivation up, just the excitement of everything. So get out your calendars right now and put these dates in your calendar. So Summit is in July, July 28th through the 30th. Um, if you're not on the wait list for that, get on it, you'll want to get there. Um, the next Super Saturday is April 2nd, so mark that on your calendar so nothing gets in the way. Um, and then the Success Club trip for 2017, um, get on the wait list for that as well, and also just mark those dates in your calendar. That's the teal wave which we're going on. Um, and then register for Team Cup. Um, get on a Team Cup. That's the Team Cup right there. There's a picture from the Beachbody headquarters. From over the weekend it's awesome this is a big momentum thing for your team um, so if you're not on one just post in the project fearless page and we will get you on a team or find you a team all right so I kind of wanted to paint the picture this is my first big event like this I've been to summit before but this was a lot more intimate um, for anybody who doesn't know me, my name is Meg. Um, I am a two-star diamond, but when I first started, I was super skeptical. I never, ever, ever, ever thought I would ever go to one of these events, let alone how amazing it was and how good they treat you. Um, from the, from the moment I walked through the door, like, I felt like a person, like an actual name, you know, Beachbody is a huge company but these people make an effort to know you just like we do as coaches. And that is huge. You know, most corporations, you're just a number and I've been there and it stinks. <laughs> but as you can see in these pictures, um, we got to tour the headquarters of Beachbody. It was very small groups. There was probably like eight of us walking around. They were, you know, telling us about everything. Look at Joan Crocker on the wall right there on Elite. That was on one of the walls walking down the hallway. Um, the Shakeology, all the ingredients, where they come from. Um, and then up to the left was the big conference that we, we were in for a couple days listening to some of the top coaches. And they, they fed us. They gave us drinks. You know, everything was taken care of. And... Um, you can see on the bottom picture there um, where the balloons are. Uh, this was the last big team building event and the Northeast got together. And my big takeaway here was the three people who are, are in charge of us as a Northeast region, they study our faces. They, they wanna know where we come from. 
And when I walked through the door, like they knew who I was, they knew, you know, they asked me about what my husband does for work. They were actually interested in me, what I did, how I started. So that was pretty amazing um, to think of all the Northeast and they know who we are. So pretty crazy to think that when I first started, I never thought I'd do anything like this. <laughs> and to go to California was awesome. So Carl Degler, he's our CEO. Many of you know who he is. And if you're a new coach, he's awesome. So from the moment he stepped out on stage, like you could just see his love and his passion. And he's just very transparent. If you follow him on Facebook, um, he does a lot of live videos sometimes, and they're just a selfie type thing. And he's just keeping it real. He's, he's giving you updates. If th something's going wrong, he's saying how he's going to fix it. Um, and you can just tell that he's got a huge heart. So he even kind of talked about um, how he met with another fitness company, like a multi-million dollar fitness company the other day. And he was sitting down and the guy was trying to bounce ideas off of him. And he was just, he was talking all about profit and how to make this. He didn't name the fitness company, but he was talking about how he wanted to leverage it, how he could make more money. And Carl was like, I felt awful, but I just couldn't connect with this guy. Because Carl is all about helping people, like making people feel special, helping people. And for him, it was all about money, money, money. So lead with heart um, and resist the urge to kind of put the financial opportunity first because that's kind of pitching an empty box. Um, obviously, we want people to get health and fitness um, form foremost and help them with that. So, um, And then he talked about being the CEO of your own company. And it's just about sharing your journey, inviting, um, and then ultimately the wealth comes from that. Um, for any new coaches in the beginning, you know, it may seem like you're putting in a lot of hours and you're not seeing, you know, much in return, but think of it as like going to college, like you're learning, you've got to be consistent. Um, you know, going to college for four years, you didn't get paid. And, but that consistent effort, like it all, it all comes together because then you get a job after college and all that. Um, with each body, it comes a lot faster than that as long as you're consistent and put in the work each day as if you were, you know, taking a class. Talked about being relentless um, and having that burn to help people. Um, then again, and then building that relationship um, and building the value behind Shakeology and how awesome and how people need these programs and need Shakeology in their life. Um, and they just talked about like, how to reach people in a more meaningful way. You know, who is that person you're trying to help? Why do they struggle? And then crafting a post that will connect with that person. Um, so Carl Deichler talked about being relentless as, as a coach and Beachbody is relentless about making things better for us. Um, he's talked about how the growth has been so fast and we've had some growing pains um but ultimately it's just making us all bigger and stronger as a team he's he's bringing on more people some things to come he's cleaning up the back office it's going to be mobile friendly that was a huge announcement um sometime in 2016 and then there's also going to be a shopping platform that's going to be much easier to navigate and service so no pinching the screen on a mobile device um, Kelsey, you must be happy with that. <laughs> um, so I kind of wanted to do an exercise here because I thought this was really cool in the conference. So how many Fs do you guys see in this statement? So I'm going to give you a couple minutes just to count them up. And what, you, what I want you guys to do is put how many you see in the chat. I can't see the chat, but count them up. How many do you see? Meg, to answer you, everybody's saying five. Hannah oh, says what? Five. Why can't I see it? I don't know. Oh. Mary says five. Okay. All six. right. People are saying five or six. Five or six? Well, I saw three. 
So I would say the majority of the people in the room saw three, and there were only a select few that actually saw seven. So the moral of this story is, as you can see, the, all the ofs, so that's four ofs. That's why I was four short. You know, I was looking way too into this, and I wasn't just simply looking at it you know, simply reading it, which goes to show that maybe in our business, maybe everyday life, we're reading into things. We're making things more complicated than they actually have to be. You're kind of oversighting, you know, the obvious. So it's time to take it up a notch and just keep it simple. Um, so never lose sight in the end story, regardless of the difficulties. Um, you know, there's going to be difficulties in this, and it's time to confront some of the brutal facts. You know, maybe maybe you're scrolling the news feed. Maybe you're, you know, putting off something you should have done first thing in the morning. Maybe you, there's so many things that can distract us. Notifications, you know, when we're doing our power hour. So many things. Um, also, don't chase shiny objects. You know, if we're fighting for a certain goal or maybe you're looking at other people and comparing yourself, and then that causes you to not do the things consistently each day that you should be doing. Um, you know, it, it takes a lot of discipline, it takes consistency, you know, but really it just comes down to the three vital behaviors. Prove the product works. Personal development. Invite, invite, invite. And then they also talked about, you know, adding a fourth vital behavior, which is recognition, because that is a key driver in this business and by doing more of that it, it just keeps us all going keeps your team going um so definitely throwing that in there too you know congratulating anybody for any achievement um so discipline um you know, obviously these three bite of behavior behaviors aren't just there because they're cute. You know, they are the core driver of getting us the results that we want. And Michael Neiman said it best, we are capable of doing is always so much higher than we actually think. So think about that for a minute. Now I'm going to play this because it goes with the consistency and the discipline. And I want you to watch about this little video and really think about this for a second. Just to give you some, well, you'll know, never mind. Can you guys hear it? Yeah. So that right there just goes to show that you got to show up every single day. The basketball player was, I think, MVP last year for the NBA. That the ballerina, you know, she's a professional ballerina dancer now. Jordan Spieth, pro golfer. He won the Masters. He's the second best in the world right now. But they see how many days they had to show up for them to be great. Consistency. Um, now I'm just going to kind of skip through this quickly because Kylie's going to, I was kind of more on the plane going through my notes and came up with these and realized it's really too long. So Kylie's going to talk more about this next week. Um, 
but basically being the CEO of your own business, there's no blaming, no enabling. If you have a question, ask. Ask your coach, ask your upline. We're all here to help. You're never bugging us. Um, but, you know, take priority on that. You know, you are the CEO, so show up. Um, I'm just going to skip through this too. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Kylie's going to go over this all next week with you guys. Um, Melanie did talk about, Melanie is Mitro's the top coach, second year in a row. Um, she talked about making the most of your time, um, you know, the product of the product because your body is your business. Um, you know, we all have the same 24 hours. It's just how you choose to arrange them. So plan. And I know for myself, I'm going to start doing that a lot better is planning ahead. Um, you know, establish your business hours and stay focused during those business hours. Don't, don't let things get in the way. Um, don't jump around from task to task. You know, pick a task, finish it. Pick a task, finish it. Um, make it almost like a race against the clock for yourself. Because I know for me, when I have less hours in a day to get something done, I get more done. And when I have more time on my hands, the less I get done. So stay focused, you know, get rid of the mindless Facebook scrolling. If you hit snooze in the morning, I'm guilty of that. Put it on the dresser so you actually have to physically get up. Um, and during power hours, you know, shut off your phone, notifications. And eat that frog first thing in the morning. If you haven't read that book, it's a good one. It's called Eat, this, eat That Frog. Um, the thing you least likely, the thing you least want to do, do first thing in the morning. So if that means inviting 10 people to your challenge group, if you actually, you know, have a hard time doing that, do it first thing in the morning. If you have a hard time doing your workout, do it first thing in the morning. Whatever that one thing do it in the morning, right off the bat. It just gets you motivated to, to do more things in the day. Um, Bonnie Ingle, her, she was actually at the first new leadership event last year. And she was only a two-star diamond last year at this time. And she was up on that stage, now a 15-star diamond coach. That is insane. And to hear her talk, it was incredible. But she talked about keeping things simple, you know? A lot of times when you get to a certain level, you might overcomplicate things. I know I did. So, you know, don't let that be your enemy. Just keep things consistent and it begins and ends with Success Club. You know, Success Club is what everybody needs to move their business forward. It's a, it's a, it's a goal for a reason. A um, couple things that she did um, after the new leadership last year that really changed your business was to share objections publicly. So if you're getting the money excuse, if you're getting, oh, I don't have time on my hands to be able to work out, or, or even about the coaching, you know, talk about those publicly in a way that answers the, because you know, to just have that reality show type thing, you know, there are all questions that people want to know. So um, be that light. These were some books that um, they all kind of mentioned throughout the past couple days. Um, so jot these down. Um, Eat that frog. I've read that one. Um, good to great. I think that's probably going to be the one. I go after next. Maybe you guys have already read The Slight Edge, but definitely jot these down um, and check them out. So some big takeaways from the conference. Keep things simple. Um, be relentless. These products and coaching changes lives. Be the solution for that person so they are not suffering alone and find the best way to reach them. So reaching your ideal person that you can connect with. Um, you know, there was a doctor up on stage and she was, she graduated and she got her, um, she had her perfect career in medicine. 
but after you know only having 15 minutes sometimes with patients she was realizing that these people are suffering alone they need they need help like she can't offer them the help that they need and by coaching it allows them to have a much better connection and for her to actually help them through the journey um, so that was pretty amazing to hear another thing is plan ahead so everyone is on the same page and have the opportunity to invite to challenge groups and sneak peeks and coach basics. Um, we've talked about this, but um, to really put it in action is, makes it duplicatable um, for newer coaches, knowing when things are and stuff. Um, having consistency and discipline with the three vital, vital behaviors and making success club will ultimately lead you to wherever you want to be. And I truly believe that. Um, I wouldn't have been going to that conference if I didn't make Success Club every single month. Um, so non-negotiable. And then recognizing those time-wasting things and choose how you choose to rule the, rule the day. Um, and then finally, um, sometimes you just have to jump and build your wings on the way down. That was mentioned quite a few times um over the weekend and it, it is so true um you know in the beginning i didn't know what the heck i was doing <laughs> you know i would i just kind of went along and learned as i went and sometimes i still don't know what i'm doing but you know what i keep going just keep going because eventually you're gonna fly um so some some take action steps you know i challenge you to maybe less stressful than trying to come up with something on the fly and maybe it's it's not connecting with the right people um and then just keep it simple daily this is all we're talking about drink your shake do your workout read a book share that um start and finish a power hour that's all we're talking about each day so keep it simple and i think that's all i have for you tonight yes it is does anybody have any questions? 32 chats. You guys blowing it up over here. Most of them were your numbers. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Please some, tell me some people saw three like I did. <laughs> Courtney saw three. Ryan saw three. Okay, good. Um. Most people saw five. Interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. But you did get the books, right? Everybody. Yep. You write down those books. Yeah. So next week, Kylie's going to go in a lot more detail to what the top coaches were saying and kind of their inside secrets, what they do on a day to day basis and how they manage their time. Um, so she'll talk about that next week. Does anybody have any questions? Who's coming with us next year? Actually, I won't be there next year, but who's going? <laughs> who's coming with me to leadership this year? You do know that all of you could qualify for that first before New Leaders Conference, right? You could skip New Leaders and go straight to leadership. Who's going to do that? I think you all should just say me. Like, why wouldn't you, right? What are the qualifications for leadership again? I don't even remember. Think you have to be five star. You have to have specific amount of elite points. If Bonnie can go fifteen star, well, thirteen star in twelve months, then I think the rest of us could get a couple more. Yeah. <laughs> you absolutely can, and you and you you could, and you can. I mean, um, you know, I think about it. I went six star my first year. But you think about somebody like, I mean, we've all used Julie Fowler as an example, who went five-star in three months. Like, she'd been a coach for two or three years sitting at Diamond and then just decided. Because, guys, that's all it is. It's a decision. It's just a decision to go five-star. It, it, it isn't up to anybody else. It's up to you. And once you make that decision and you realize, hey, 
you know what? Everything I say yes to means I'm saying no to something else, right? So if I say yes to going to this party or yes to going to this function or yes to not doing my workout or yes to going to this bar tonight or yes to not doing this today, then you're saying no to something else. So make sure that your yes is aligned with what your goals are. Because if your goal is to be a five star, by the time that leadership comes around, you can have that. The only person standing in your way is you. The only person. It's a decision. And it's up to you to find those coaches and to find those builders. It's not like, oh, some, so-and-so dropped, so you know it's their fault that I didn't make five star. No, it's your fault. You need to find more people. And you need to find more people that are serious about building. It's your business. But I do want you to know that every single one of you on this call I don't care if you signed up today can be a five star diamond and make leadership this year. So if that is your goal, if your goal is to build this a little slower and that's your journey, then that's cool. Make new leaders conference your goal. But I'm just telling you that the opportunity is there and it's all up to you. What was the biggest thing that you took away Meg? The culture I would, well, Oh no, she froze. Is she frozen for anybody else? Yeah, she's frozen for everybody. She's like, <laughs> oh no. A number and Meg, 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 Meg. You, what? Froze. you froze. All, of, all of us just watched you like, Aww. and we didn't hear anything you said. So you start again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say there's so many things that I want to apply to my business, but as far as like as a whole, I would definitely just say the culture. I mean, Beachbody is a special, special thing. And everybody that I met on corporate and just everybody as coaches, there's just an aura around them. And they made everything like fun and special. And I don't know who wouldn't want to be a part of that. Yeah. And I was the kid that did not want to be a part of it or didn't think, I could be a part of it. Wait, so is this kid. Who, who else was that kid? Anybody else that kid? That was skeptical and didn't want to do this at first? Oh, look at the show of hands. Yeah, right? And then, look at you're all on a freaking call right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, like, honestly, Meg, I love that I love that that's your answer because – that was my takeaway after the first event that I went. Summit is a different beast, guys. Summit is something yeah. that it is so crazy and you're so all over the place and it's stressful. And yes, you're learning good things. And yes, it's an amazing experience. But when you get to those events, they're a little bit smaller, whether it be a success club trip or leadership or the new leaders conference, it is different. And you get that access and you see that and you have that feeling and I'll tell you that what morning was it? Saturday, Saturday morning, you guys did the workout with Tony. Yep. Okay. So Saturday morning, I noticed that Brooke had posted the video. And so I went and Ryan like shared it on our TV screen. And we just had it up in the background while we were working and doing stuff. And literally like two minutes in, I was in tears and I was in tears because I was like, you see tears again. What's my problem? I'm a crier now, apparently. So Cat, can you come and help? I know. It's ridiculous. So I was in tears, though, because I was like, oh, that's it right there. Like, they're experiencing right now, like, what one of my favorite feelings in the entire world is. And it's that connected, being part of something bigger than yourself feeling. And, like, Tony running that room and that exhilaration and that energy that you get when you're in there is just unfreaking matched. And when you do meet corporate and you learn from them, you realize that what you are doing is making a difference. It mm -hmm. is not about numbers, guys. It is about creating freedom for yourself and freedom for other people. And I love, is Lindsay still on this call? Lindsay earlier on this call just said, you know, she had a team call. She had a get started right call with a coach today. And it's the first one that she's done in a long time. And she said that she's been having a hard time finding builders. But that, that one call right there was like, oh, it all just clicked for me. That's what I was missing. You know, that's the piece. So I'm telling you, keep going until you find those people that want to run with you and that want to build with you and do this with you because you can help them change their lives and then help them teach to change other people's lives. And that's when it all starts clicking, guys. That's when it starts being fun. That's when you start realizing like how big this thing really is. And it's also when you become successful and make money. Shocking how that happens. If you help other people, you're rewarded abundantly by the universe. So any other questions for Meg, guys? 
No? No. Okay. So get out there and reach out to people and get in that, you know, five lives club for the month. I'll tell you what, I'm in the 10 lives club right now and I want to get in the 15 lives club before the month is over and I will do so. So I'm committing that to all of you. So go get five. Yay.